Hi everyone, Crystal here. Wanted to share with you my design team project um, for this month, or one of the ones for this month. This is for handicraft suppliers. I will link all the links down below for those of you who want to check it out. Um, I've been wanting to create this project for a while now and finally just got around to it. Um, it's using this um, caged bird die here by Tim Holtz and I just love this die. Um, although I rarely ever use it. Um, it's kind of like one of the few times I have. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used that and then I used a bunch of just different flowers from um, handicraft suppliers. So let me just share with you what I created. The I used, um, or actually I created um, this 3D dimensional bird cage um, using that die and I just love love how they turned out um, I used the floral pavilion paper stack and I just love it so shabby but first I backed it on some lightweight chipboard um, and then adhered the paper on top and then for the flowers I used these really pretty swan roses here and I just love them it's in its natural color the cream color and then for um, the side here I used this is it came in white and I sprayed it in um, this really pretty simply pastel color in the green so I put um, one here and then one on this side here and then I used um, a cherry blossom both here and here then I tucked some uh, rose buds in between there and I used some butterflies here from the store as well and I just love it and then I tied um, this um, really pretty shabby uh, fibers that I got from Kamika. Um, and so I love it. Love how it turned out. And then on the top I put an M for the uh, with a Scrabble tile. Then I just adhered this really cute uh, bow from the store. So that and then on the inside is a flower that uh, was gifted to me by Laura, and it's a really pretty puffy Vicky flower. It's two layers. I just love it. Look at that bling in there. It's so pretty. So that's um, the M. I made this for a friend. So um, here's um, the next one I made and it's again using the same uh, floral pavilion paper. And then on the inside I used that flower there which was also given to me by Laura. I just love it. And then I did the same kind of clustering here, uh, but instead I put them kind of next to each other here. And then this one just has an E with the bow. Okay, and then I used this uh, lace that I had from my stash. So that's the E, pretty much spells out, you already know, for those of you that watch my channel, it spells out Mika. <laughs> And then here's the K, and this is the paper pattern that I used. And then that's another um, Vicky flower. This one was given to me by Elise. So this one has like um, lace on the bottom and then um, that cream on the top. So I just love them. And then here's the K. Okay, I had to write this K by myself or from scratch because I don't know why, but Scrabble tiles that I had, I couldn't find a K. So there's the K. And then here's the A. So I used these papers here or this pattern here. This was so pretty. And this one I just made myself because I ran out of flowers to use so I had to make my own Vicky flower so I layered it with this nice pretty sage green uh, rosette trim from lavish laces and then there's just a bling that I had in my stash and then another teeny tiny um, rosette on top and then I can I did the same flower cluster here so I just love it I love 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 how this turned out so she will sit it on her desk some way somehow but it's gonna say uh, Mika on it so I hope you like what I created um, I'll link 
the tutorial for those of you that want to try this out. I just, they are so fun to make. And once you make one, I mean, you can make these so fast. And you can just decorate them however you want. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.